guys. Thanks for stopping by Old Smoke with Steve's today. Today we're going to be doing a review on uh, Bear Mountain pellets. Uh, they just sent me a sweet barbecue and a savory barbecue. Uh, I got two bags here that I'm going to be trying out. Uh, we're only going to be trying out one of them today. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, sweet barbecue and I'm going to be doing a spatchcock chicken uh, so I can see how these pellets uh, work, how they perform, how they uh, smell, how they heat up, how quick they get hot, and uh, the flavor that they give the chicken. And uh, I really love these Bear Mountain pellets. Uh, I've used the, uh, uh, well, I started out with the hickory, and I really liked that. Went to the uh, gourmet blend, and that was awesome. Then the bourbon barbecue blend, and I really love that bourbon barbecue blend on steaks and hamburgers. That just cranks it up another notch. But anyway, uh, we're going to try these out today, these uh, sweet barbecue uh, pellets. Uh, try that out on some spatchcock chicken, and I'll be showing you how we're doing that uh, spatchcock chicken. Uh, it's going to be a little uh, quick video, so uh, let's get started. Okay, here they are, guys, uh, the sweet barbecue and the savory barbecue. Uh, the savory, savory barbecue, it says it's smooth smoky flavor and what we're cooking with today is the sweet barbecue sweet smoky flavor so i'm getting anxious to uh, see how these turn out so uh let's head out to the uh, rectech bullseye and uh, get this thing loaded up with the pellets okay i got that uh, hopper cleaned out and we're going to put some of this uh, sweet barbecue blend in there Here's what they look like in the hopper. I didn't go ahead and fill it up or anything, but there's plenty in here. So that's what we're going to be cooking with today and uh, be doing a review on these pellets. Okay, we got that bullseye all loaded up with those new uh, uh, Bear Mountain pellets that we're trying out today. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do to get this spatchcock chicken ready. Okay, guys. Uh, Let's get started on this chicken. Uh, first thing we want to do is cut this uh, backbone out. And I got this knife here that I really like using. Uh, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll have a link underneath the video along with the link to the uh, Bear Mountain pellets. But anyway, you want to cut on, uh, I like to cut on each side of this backbone. Just kind of score it a little bit. Then I'll come in with the uh, kitchen shears and cut that backbone out of there. Just like that. And then there's a, a breastbone up in here that uh, Sometimes you can flop it over and break it sometimes by pulling it apart, but uh, it's just as easy to go in here with the kitchen shears and find that bone. And get in there and snip it out. Just like that. Okay, I got my little kosher salt here. Uh, we're going to put that on there. Well, normally, uh, I'd season this up and put it in the refrigerator uncovered overnight. Let that skin dry out a little bit for us, but uh, it's frozen, or it was frozen, and uh, we're cooking it up today, so uh, it's not going to be sitting in the fridge overnight. 
So we're going to go in with some kosher salt. That'll help dry that skin out a little bit. Then we're going to follow that up with a little uh, Dizzy Dust all-purpose barbecue. There's that uh, Dizzy Dust. We're going to go ahead and put some of that on there. If you have a favorite rub you like on chicken, go ahead and use that. If you want to step out of the box, try something a little different, uh, go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to get this on there, let it sit around get happy for a little bit while I go fire up that bullseye. And we're going to get that temperature up to uh, 225 and uh, let this guy smoke for a little bit. And uh, then we'll be cranking the temperature up. But the main thing is uh, we want to try those new Bear, Bear Mountain pellets out. Okay, I'm going to go out and fire that bullseye up. Okay, we're out here at the bullseye. Let's go ahead and get him fired up. Pretty simple process. Just power on. And we're going to set the temperature at 225. And we'll go ahead and heat up at uh, 225. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and the temperature is uh, 225. So we're going to go ahead and get this chicken put on. So the, these uh, pellets got up to temperature uh, in 15 minutes. And I found that uh, this bullseye, it doesn't matter what temperature you ha set point is, uh, it generally gets up to temperature in 15 minutes, whether it be 750 or 250. So we're going to let this thing smoke and... Uh, Enjoy the smell of that uh, sweet, savory pellets. Okay, this thing's smoking away. It's smelling good. And I did put a temperature probe in the uh, breast of the chicken so we can monitor that. So the thing left is to uh, let it smoke and then uh, after a while, we'll be cranking that temperature up to try, try to get that uh, skin a little crispy. And uh, then, of course, the taste test. We never do a cake cook without a taste test. That's my favorite part. Okay, that chicken breast is showing uh, about 109 degrees right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. do is go ahead and crank that temperature up to about 400 and uh, see if we can't get that skin a little crispy. So we'll go to uh, set temperature. And set 400. So then we'll go back over to uh, meat temperature and uh, keep an eye on that. Those pellets are smelling mighty good. So I'm real happy with the pellets so far. Okay, we're showing 165 in that uh, chicken breast now. So uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, yeah, good. We're gonna go ahead and get that pulled inside. Let it rest for a couple minutes and uh, do a taste test. Okay, here she is. I just pulled it inside here. Looking pretty good, smelling good. I'm gonna cut into it and do a taste test here. Okay, got me a little bite right here. It was really juicy when I cut into it. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh. 
Oh wow. That is good. That is really good. Guys, this Bear Mountain, it just keeps on amazing me. This uh, sweet barbecue blend it is really good on this chicken. Uh, I thought the other ones were good, but uh, I really like this on this chicken. Now, maybe I wouldn't like it so much on the beef. I like, really like that bourbon barbecue on the beef, but this is really good. Guys, check that Bear Mountain out. So guys, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. See you on the next one.